Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to pop on and talk about calorie counting and still feeling like you are the heaviest you've ever been. I have heard this from six different women this week. It's Thursday. So in four days, I've heard this exact same thing from six different women. So I just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a whole video on it and that's gonna be the title. I've been counting my calories. I've been working really hard. I am the heaviest I've ever been, including when I had kids. What the heck? What is wrong with me? What am I doing wrong, right? What am I doing wrong? And the simple answer is nothing. You're not doing anything wrong. All you're doing is following something that is actually not meant for the body that you're living in. You're not actually focused on the right thing to get your metabolism working. If you're trying to just be in a calorie deficit to see a result and you're not seeing a result, it's not about more of a calorie deficit. It's about getting the body to work better, right? You know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna put gas in your car and you're like, okay, I'm getting better gas. I'm gonna like upgrade and get like fancier gas and like the best gas on the market, that's gonna help me go faster. That's gonna get me to go faster. Okay, but if there's something wrong under the hood, if the engine isn't running correctly, car's still not gonna go anywhere. I don't care how much gas you, I don't even care if you put like the best gas on the planet, jet, jet fuel in the engine. I don't know that you can actually do that, but the car isn't still gonna run, right? So this is what we do. This is what we have to look at. Make sure that you're looking at the right thing for your system. Now, I do Dutch testing, um, which is a look at your comprehensive hormones. Where did my little, I had a little packet of Dutch test. Where did it go? I was gonna show you guys. I moved it, I moved it, and now I can't find it. Um, Dutch test is a test for comprehensive hormones, and it really looks at, here. See, I have all these things here, too many things. And we look at exactly what your system is doing. So this is a sample of what we would see in Dutch test. We look at what your estrogen, progesterone, testosterones are doing, your cortisol levels, other androgen levels. This looks really complicated, right? Yeah, it's a breakdown of everything your hormones are doing. Murray has it, Murray probably does, stinkers, I tell you. Um, this is a breakdown of how your body processes. Like we see specifically what your liver is doing and whether or not it's doing the right thing. That has nothing to do with calories. That has nothing to do with calories. When we look at your adrenal page and see how your adrenals are functioning and your cortisol response, has nothing to do with calories. I don't care about the calories at this point. And in fact, if you are depleting yourself of calories, you make this part worse. If you restrict calories and your adrenals are already struggling, guess what? You actually push yourself into adrenal fatigue faster. <sighs> Why? Because it's more stressful on the body. The male and female body does not respond to stress the same way at all, at all mentally or physically, <laughs> right? So a lot of what we're told to do and how we're taught to respond to stress and things that we're told to manage stress is based off of what works really well for a male body, not a female body. So keeping that in mind, a lot of times calorie counting leads to these things, which also creates more and other problems in our system. So if you really wanna get a Dutch test, to get to the bottom of what you have going on. I'm gonna put a link right here in the comments. Um, for the next 12 week challenge that I have coming up. It's, it's a little ways off, um, but if you have other questions, let me know. But the only way that you get on the, um, the registration link is on the wait list. My wait list, um, I do a wait list because the, the program does fill within about 24 hours. So yes, you get a Dutch test, we go over it and we talk about specific recommendations, everything. Stop feeling like you're crazy. You're not crazy. I, I heard that from literally every single woman today or this week as well that said, I'm counting calories and I'm still the heaviest I've ever been. And when I go over the results, sometimes I'm like, I feel bad like telling you, like, this is bad. This part's bad. I'm sorry. And they're like, no, this is validating. And it's helpful for me to hear that I'm not crazy. It's not in my head. And I'm like, yep. Yeah, you're definitely not. It's yeah. Like your adrenals are shot. You can't. Yeah. I don't care if you've got you know, a whole gas station worth of gas to put in your tank. The engine is totally seized up and you're not going anywhere. Yeah. So there we go. So counting calories. What is so bad about counting calories? Some people do it and they go and it's great and it's fantastic. Good for them. Their body is just in a different place. The same thing does not work for every person. 
obviously, if it was just about counting calories, we would all be at the exact weight we all want to be at exactly when we want to be there. It would be easy, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It'd be like a recipe. Like, I'm going to bake a pie, and I need this many apples, and that's how I'm going to do it, right? There we go. I can go to the app go to the store and buy eight apples and I get exactly what I need and count it out and there we go. <sighs> Calories don't work like that. <sighs> Sorry. I'm going to start sweating. I get so worked up about this. I tell you. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Don't feel bad about telling us. <laughs> I do sometimes though. I do because I'm like, <gasps> sometimes I'm like, there was somebody this week where I was like, how are you getting out of bed in the morning? Her, her levels were that bad. And she's like, yeah, it's really hard. It takes me like an hour just to get out of bed. And I thought I was just being lazy. And I was like, you're not lazy. There's something wrong with you. Like, this is a health issue, not like a, oh, I'm lazy issue. Yeah, let's work on that, you know? Yes. Um, it's so good hearing that your body is actually just trying to do what it's supposed to do to protect you. See, that's, that's exactly it. Your body has these responses because something is wrong and it is protecting you. It's keeping it from getting worse. And a lot of times the healthy things that you're doing are kind of limping you along until you actually get to the root of the problem. But again, this is what we do in the 12 week challenge. So yes. So again, that link is in the wait is in the comments there for the wait list. So counting calories, what this can do, uh, lead to nutrient depletion. Cause if you're counting calories, oftentimes you're getting in foods based on a number, not on what it does in your system. And I find that women are not getting enough protein as is. Yeah. Why is protein important? It's going to help with your energy levels, get your muscle building going so you can actually start your metabolism, right? Um, it's going to help manage your blood sugar levels and it's going to help with cellular repair and battle stress. So many important, there's more things that protein does, but those are some main things that just increasing your protein can really, really help. Yes. Um, counting calories also, it, it can keep you from detoxing properly. Honestly, fat stores your toxins. And if you are counting calories and you're not actually getting to a fat burning place, all your body is going to do is store more toxins, store more toxins, which creates more weight loss resistance. If you want, I can do a whole thing on fat cells and the reaction to stress and the reaction to toxins and then like metabolism really, because it, it's a complicated system, but I can kind of draw it out in terms of like, these are the things that will help burn fat cells. And these are the things that absolutely do not. And these are the dynamic between them, right? It's like a, a tug of war. It's a tug of war and the fat cells are, I don't want to say winning, but they're just storing everything. Like you eat celery and it's going to store it. Yeah. Because there's toxins in your body that your system's not detoxing. Well, my body's supposed to detox on its own. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It absolutely is supposed to detox on its own. If you have certain genetic factors that don't let you detox, that's just not happening for you and you have to do different things to assist your system. Assist your system. <laughs> I want that on a t-shirt. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> um, genetic factors can prevent you from detoxing. Again, this is like a whole other video that I can talk about. Um, you know, gut issues. Um, hormone issues, hormone imbalances, um, lymphatic issues. I mean, there's so many things can prevent you from actually detoxing. Also having restricted calories and nutrients can prevent you from detoxing. <gasps> what? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What this can look like for a lot of women is you count calories and you lose some weight. You count calories and you lose some weight. You count calories and you lose some weight. But every time you lose some weight, then you gain some back, you gain the weight back and then some. Then you count calories and lose some weight again. You know, so for example, you would, oh, look at this. I'm gonna count calories and I lose 10 pounds. Yay me. But then within a year or two, you gain 12. Oh, okay, I need to count these calories again. Okay, I count calories, I lose 10 pounds. But you can't get that last two pounds off. Okay. Then you kind of stop counting calories and you gain back 12 again. So now you're up a total of four pounds. Yeah, dang it. That's your body not detoxing. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, that, that's a whole other video that I can do. Again, let me know, put a comment below if you want me to do a whole video on that, I totally can. 
Um, and then the last one here I put, again, there's more things to this, but these are some big main things to look at. Not addressing your hormones, not, not looking at your system specifically. Estrogen and progesterone, they have different nutrient needs. So if you're not shifting how you're eating throughout the month to match with estrogen and progesterone, if you are not eating for your cycle, eating for your hormones, then that is going to create a big deficiency too, right? So counting calories doesn't, you know, I'm eating the same 1200 calories every day. That's terrible. You live in four different bodies throughout the month. Why would you treat each one the same? Cause they have different needs. Yeah. And this is what we do in the 12 week challenge. I teach you how, how to do this. I also have more information on this exactly in my book, the female fat solution. This is all about how to eat for your hormones and your cycle. Then in my book, The Female Menopause Solution, all about how to eat for um, perimenopause and menopause. And then, of course, other resources I have for you, my podcast, The Female Health Solution, and then my YouTube channel is called Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to that to stay updated on all the stuff I have coming out. Um, but these are, these are some main things. You know what I mean? Like, these are some main things that we're just kind of glazing over because there's so much pressure to count the calories. I don't give a crap about the calories, right? A hundred calories of gummy bears is very different than a hundred calories of almonds. What that does for your system. And then when is that the best time to get that in your body? Mm -hmm. Cause there can be time for both. Please do a detox video. Okay. Ah, <laughs> yeah, girl, do that then, please detox it. Oh, you guys. Mm hmm. Oh, this is making me really excited. I can't wait to talk about fat cells and toxins. <laughs> Ooh, can't wait. Um, I can't wait two months for a Dutch test. I'm at my wits end. Do, do, do. Yes. Oh, yes. So I do include a Dutch test in the 12 week challenge. Um, if you need other help with that, message me, Barb, because there's, um, there's other programs and things that I have where I work with people. So that might be a better fit for you if you're needing help sooner. Yeah, I totally get it. I totally get it. Like being under a lot of stress, not feeling good, all that stuff. It's tough to keep going every day like that, especially if things are kind of on there on that slippery slope downward. Yeah. So I get it. Reach out to me. Let me know. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. Again, my mission here is just to educate women more on things you can do to take charge of your health. But of course I'm here as a resource. Um, and yeah, and there's just, this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just the beginning of all of it, right? Cause there's so much more detail that we go into on a lot of these, um, test results and really looking at your whole system, your health history, all that stuff that matters. Yeah. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have any questions, if you need anything else, otherwise I will see you later. Bye.